And now, the final edition takes you to the White House press room. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Go ahead, Sam. Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, you, Governor Cuomo, and other politicians have long been proponents of stricter Republican control. That's right. We don't want to take anyone's GOP away, but we do want restrictions on semi-rational politics. Well, can you tell us how, in your second term, you hope to achieve a full or partial ban on high-capacity Republican ammunition? Well, for too long, Americans have had easy access to deadly GOP ideas. But the last election showed that a majority doesn't want Republicans in higher office. They just want them in the House of Representatives. So, I would change the number of House Republicans from 233, which frankly is insane, to seven. Oh, Mr. President, the NRA, the National Republican Association, has a slogan, you'll have to pry my stupidity from my cold, dead brain cells. Yes, it's a popular bumper sticker. Well, well, how do you fight that? We can all agree that there should be stronger background checks on Republicans. Many who seek to join the party are mentally ill or educationally challenged. We need to spot a Todd Aiken or Michelle Bachman before they cause widespread damage. Yes, Bill. How are you going to get Republicans in the House to agree to a bill that limits Republicans in the House? Isn't that something of a catch-22 caliber tactical auto-loading rifle? Well, Bill, there are things I can do by executive order. For example, I can now legally detain anyone I want anywhere in the world for any reason with no repercussions. I could detain the entire Republican Party until after the 2014 midterms. But realistically, you're not going to jail one half of the two-party system, are you? Of course not. I'll probably do something more pragmatic, like send drones into the congressional cafeteria. George? Mr. President, what about people who are Republicans, but also celebrities? Where will you draw the line? Ah, the Hollywood loophole. Take Clint Eastwood. We would not allow him to get a chair from a store or a chair show. Can you actually rein in a whole party that operates without regulation or rationality? It won't be easy. That's why I'm creating a new bureau to regulate Republicans, the Department of Tobacco, Firearms, Explosives, Money, Racism, and Conspiracy. Well, the word is that you are appointing a Republican to head that agency. Yes, I believe a Republican can best restrict other Republicans. Is that a compromise? No, that's a sellout. You should learn the different ways I disappoint my base. Mr. President, can't you fight harder against the Republicans you claim to want to limit? I would, but I have to go walk Eric Cantor's dog.